Evil people are characterized by being very ego-driven and vain. They are also characterized as being very lust for death and suffering driven. And last but not least, they have a serve me and enjoy it or die attitude. These three character traits are traits that the God of the Bible, the Torah, and the Quran has in a huge abundance. Yes, he does. Okay, my friend. Number one, you are not the judge of right and wrong. Number two, it's not wrong for God to desire all the glory because he deserves it. It's actually loving for God to point us to himself because he is the most beautiful thing in the whole universe. We're actually telling a lie when we tell the world to look at us and how amazing we are because we're not. With all that being said, even though Jesus deserves all the glory, he actually humbled himself when he came to this earth to take the penalty we deserve on the cross. So that accusation of God being sinfully prideful is totally ridiculous. They are also characterized as being very lust for death and suffering driven. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promises as some count slowness, but is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. They have a serve me and enjoy it or die attitude. Lastly, it's important to realize that we are all either a slave to sin or a slave to God. We are not merely free agents and God is asking us to submit ourselves to him. No, we are in bondage to sin and God is graciously inviting us to submit ourselves to a new master. One who doesn't just let us sit in our filth, but comes in and brings redemption, restoration, and a renewed relationship with him. That's good news.